I tears upon you, this ensuing darkness quickly approaching for my beloved, will be a powerful time of communion for you and I, a final refining fire, it will be a time of intimate fellowship and prayer with me, you will be strengthened in your gifts of the Holy Spirit for which you were purposed to walk forth in and my decrees will be set in motion through you, this will be your commissioning you are to remain in your dwellings and you will be receiving your realignment during this time both physically and spiritually, I will leave nothing undone, this is a final refining fire for the elect and a fire of judgment for the wicked, since your training is now complete you know my voice as my sheep know their shepherd, listen carefully and closely for your instructions, I will protect your dwellings and your animals for they are mine as well, leave all your concerns to me, the creator of all things, my holy angels will care for your outdoor creatures during this time, and your dwellings will remain secure, you are to have no fear for you are mine and I am yours, be still and know me for this is any moment now, my bride's hour is come, my children and my bride, how it pleases my heart to see such obedience and such surrender, you have learned much but know as well that much is to be required of you. I would not ask anything of you that you are not capable of when in complete obedience to my will for your lives, I would never ask of you anything that I have not already walked out in perfection while on this earth, I have always led by my example, although you do not have the complete understanding of my timing in coming for you my bride, know without a doubt that every detail of your joining to me has been lovingly orchestrated by my Father in heaven. Lean not unto your own understanding at this time as much is still being veiled, it is only for you to rest in my presence knowing that you are loved beyond measure, that you are loved by the King of Kings and it is only faith I ask, believe when you cannot see, I am pouring out an increase at this time for my bride, an increase in a measure of trust, of grace, of anointing, of favor and of blessing, you, my chosen ones will assist me in gathering the greatest harvest of all time, remain unmovable, unshakable and unaffected by what you are seeing in the natural, these things must come, persevere my beloved for our hour is come, your journey is almost complete, my children, it is my desire that you use this brief moment in time to enjoy your place with me in my heart and in my kingdom, you are in a very short pause for soon all around you will change and although I have spoken about things that are coming, you will still find yourselves feeling it happen so suddenly, I hear each one of you, asking for more clarification of the things to come, and you will be given all that you need, each one specific to his, her purpose, I know each of you better than you know yourselves for I am your designer, I also know that given too much detail, you would focus on events to come and I would lose your companionship in this moment of now, I ask one thing of you this day, give me this moment of now, sit with me, talk with me, be with me, in me, feel my peace and my love flooding your spirit, I have promised you a place in my kingdom for all eternity and I continue to provide for you and protect you, what concern is it of yours what tomorrow may bring? I have guaranteed tomorrows to no one, you are only given today, remember your place, you are hedged in on all sides, were you to be given too much information, you would simply not understand, much is being accomplished in the spiritual realm on your behalf, concern yourselves with me and our relationship together rather than the happenings in the world, I am moving powerfully and mightily for my children, much is taking place that you are not aware of, take your rest now, today knowing that this journey you have been given is drawing to an end, my peace I give to you my friends, you will be told when this three days of darkness is about to occur so that you may gather your families together in preparation, never fear as my voice will be heard by my people, take rest that you are counted worth of my eternal kingdom children, open heaven, my remnant army, my dear friends and children, those who are earnestly and anxiously looking up and awaiting my return for them you dwell with me now. You are under my mighty hand of protection and grace and you are sealed with my blood, nothing can harm you and you now walk victoriously in and through me, I am the door of my sheep to a now open heaven. That which was spoken of in times of old is upon you, the heavens are opened unto you now and you will go in and out upon me the ladder, I am the door and I am the shepherd, I am glorified in my people. Come boldly sisters and brothers into the Holy of Holies for the gate is open unto you this day.
we do all things in each other now, you in me and I in you, I in the Father and the Father in me, together we work as one, walk now in your full potential realizing there are no limits as is to the throne, you have full access and heaven is open to you, you are already home. I am imparting wisdom into your spirits each moment as you seek me and soon, very very soon, you will completely understand the deepest meaning of what has been done for you, in you now the kingdom of heaven is manifested, come and go freely and without fear my beloved bride. The time is indeed upon you, you have persevered and your reward is with you, I see that your lamps are full of my oil and you have made yourselves clean. I am coming for you sweet bride and all will be revealed to you, my peace encompasses you and all those you have given to me, you are residents of my eternal kingdom and much, much joy is coming to you. My love for you intensifies greatly now, for you are faithful 